Hey, we turn this down. How you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I am blown away. My good friend Thomas sent me this radio. I just got it yesterday. I'm still learning how to use it. It's been around for about a year in different forms and sold by different companies. This one is sold by Yiki, uh, Yaki, something like that. And uh, it's uh, right now it's on sale on Amazon for $113. And it's very, very unique. No, nope. you can see it's unique already because it has this display. It's a 4.3 inch display which shows you the spectrum and the uh, waveform down here on the bottom. I'm listening to uh, medium wave station 970 WFLA and I was very impressed when I took it out of the box. Okay, this is what it comes with. It comes with a stylus because this is a touch screen and I'll be showing you what I mean by a touch screen in a minute. And it comes with a USB charging cable and two adapters to go from SMA. It has an SMA connector on this thing. So they give you those. And although not, not too exciting is here is um, a listing of the functions and things on the radio. This is, believe it or not, we get it opened up here. This is the manual. It's not complicated, but it is a little getting used to, shall I say. Uh, I, I've struggled a little bit. I've watched um, a couple other YouTube videos to try to get some information. Uh, like Fred in the Shed, uh, even he struggled a little bit with the um, changing things on the radio, and I'll be showing you that in a minute in detail. Um, nice metal, all metal case. Now, some of these radios like this have a PC board on the ends, which to me looks kind of crude. This is all metal, all the way around, metal case. And I just, I just touched the screen, so I need to back out here and uh, back out. There we go. That's how you can select the frequency by what you do is you tap on the frequency up here and then that screen that I sh you just saw is where you select the frequency. I'll be showing you how to do that. Um, it has an audio jack right here for headphones, earbuds. Does not have Bluetooth. To my knowledge, and I, I just started playing with this this morning, to my knowledge, it does not have ATS, Automatic Tuning and Storing, or Search. Now, if someone wants to correct me, I would appreciate it, because those are two functions I use a lot. This is the heart of the controls. This can it right here. You both turn it and you push it in. Also over here is the power indicator, a 5 volt output via USB on off switch and down here is the charging connector to charge the internal battery. Now the specs, uh, d does this thing really... I'm, hold on one second, I, I can see I'm just... Uh, done there. It's also 
a single sideband, upper and lower single sideband, and it has a CW mode. But it does, oh here it is, here's the specs on the frequencies. Um, 100 kilohertz to 149 megahertz with a minimum tuning step of 1 hertz. And like I can see it's CW, uh, lower sideband, upper sideband, AM, uh, wide FM, and stereo, and an IQ mode. Now, it rings a bell, but it doesn't ring it loud enough for me to remember where that comes into play. It has, show you on the screen here, if I can get my camera to focus. Anytime, camera. Come on. Don't give me a hard time. Well, if my camera would focus, there we go. Um... Let me use the stylus. What to do with the stylus? I really let me try something else here. And I'm so excited about this. I'm making a lot of mistakes. Let me put this on a stand so I don't have to try to hold it and keep it in focus. Now, we, now we're getting there. Yeah, we got to zoom in here. Get the old camera down there where I can try to get that display as big and bright as possible. You can also change the brightness and contrast on the display. It's another one of the options. But what I was trying to say is I was going to show you the things that are on the display. Okay, up here is the date and time. Uh, which you can change. Over here, of all things, it's got FPS frames per second. I guess that tells you uh, how busy the processor is trying to update this display. Down here you have the selection of external speaker um, volume and earphone volume mode. This is 9 gigahertz mode in AM. Um, I didn't see a way to change that to 10. Maybe I'm still trying things. AGC on and off. Uh, Fred in the Shed and some other people recommended you leave that off. Okay. Reference. That's the reference on the display. You see it says minus 52. This is where it starts, minus 52. So you can adjust that. The LCD is the LCD brightness. IF gain, which uh, Fred in the Shed said this is really RF gain, which you can change. And then the power, indicating the power of the signal coming in. Now, the, the largest bandwidth you can have on this display, which you can change, is... 192 kilohertz. I wish it was at least 2 megahertz, but that's it, 192. And then, of course, you can see the signals and what the waveform looks like down here. So, um, I'm looking at my notes because my memory's not that good. Okay, and I think I believe, I think I said this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It, I cannot find an ATS or search function. So everything's manual tuning, but you can direct tune. And I'm going to try, try my best to show you this. All right, that's the easiest thing to do is to tune it by tapping on this and then putting in a number like I can uh, put in uh, 620 kilohertz so there's 620 kilohertz on the AM band or 
I can go up to the cook on again. Fred in the shed said, use the back of the stylus. I think it was Fred. That works better. Okay, I could go to five megahertz. Boom, goes right to five megahertz. Now, it's when you move around, you may have to change the mode depending on what band you're in. Now, notice the um, up here, it tells you what band it is, short wave. Now, when I go back and I do 720 kilohertz, it says medium wave. That's a nice feature. Now, for the problem I'm having is in order to get to these other options, this is what you have to do. And I'm not very good at it yet. You push the encoder button in. And notice it's now selected earphone volume. I push it again, and it now selects AM, or the, or the uh, yeah, the mode. And I could change it. USB, AM, okay. Now you push it again, and it goes to channel, memory channel, which I can scroll through. These are just kind of random, most of which I have not put in. Now, the next time you push it, it goes to the tuning dial. See, I can manually tune now. And you can select which digit you want to change. So pushing it in. Oh, no, I did that wrong. Okay, let's do that again. We're up there. We'll push and hold. Now you're going to change. See it? it well, <laughs> this is the tricky part of pushing and turning. That, that's the tricky part. And especially when I'm, um, I've got the radio like this and I don't have it in my lap. It's a lot easier to push and turn in your lap. And you need to push and turn. So right now, it's in the speaker mode. So I push it, push it. Now it's in uh, mode. AM, FM, shortwave, whatever. Now, if you want to get to these others, which you don't have to do that very often, you have to push and turn. Oh, see it? I, I let off. When I let off, it did a memory store. Let me go back and turn the speaker down. I'll try it one more time. So I've got, I put the stylus down. I'll push and I'll get over to right here. Then I've got to push and hold and turn. See, it went to AGC and then I lost it. So <laughs> you have to be uh, a little better than I am at changing that. So now we're back in channel mode. Okay. No, we're in reference mode. Watch the display here. We're going to change the reference over here. Yeah, pretty cool. So, about there is where I'd want it. So I can try to push and hold from here. Now I went to LCD, so I can change the LCD display, contrast, brightness. And I'll push and hold. Turn up. See? I just that little bit I slipped off. It went to the next mode, which is speaker, ear, mode, memory. So I went to that. So now I have to get back down on the ear. Come on ear. There we go. Now push and hold. Nope. Yeah, see, I, ah, see, I messed it up. So you see what I'm, I'm struggling with. Um, I will get used to it. And like I say, once, pretty much so, once you get it set up, then you don't have to 
fool with that stuff anymore. Like, if I want to listen to shortwave, all I need to do is come over here, set this to either upper or lower sideband or AM, and then um, turn off the AGC, which I turned off accidentally. Yep, see I went past it. I don't know where I am I'm now. Oh, I'm in mode. Okay, I want to go AM. Now I'm pushing hold. No, nope, it saved it. <laughs> okay. You see, it's a little tricky. Um, other than that, it works good. I tried shortwave band early this morning. The antenna is very long for a built-in, not built-in, but a uh, telescopic antenna. It's 30 inches. So I was able to get a couple of shortwave stations within the United States. And uh, FM works perfect. AM, a little lacking on AM. There's no ferrite coil antenna. It's using this telescopic antenna for AM also. I did um, just briefly hook it up to a loop antenna, external loop antenna. That really improved the performance. Now you can see here, I've got that the, the gain here up too high. Matter of fact, I've got it plus 40 dB. That so it's it's saturating this display down here. Another thing else I got to play with. I really appreciate Thomas sending me these things to review. I had completely run out of things to review. Um, as you probably noticed, I haven't done a show in about a week, so that's why I haven't done this show. I've been looking and looking. This is, like I say, this is $113, so it's not cheap. The other version of this, the I think the initial version, this is a clone. The initial version of this was like $250, but it lets you do more things on the touch screen. This, basically on the touch screen, you can uh, select the frequency and then change it and a couple other things, and that's about it. You can't tune by touching on the touch screen. That doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. Pretty cool. Hope you like the show because I am struggling. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely struggling. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.